Hey y'all, so I just wanted to open <clears throat> this with y'all real quick. I um, actually literally just, I can't even get up there go. I just got out the garage work from working out. And uh, yeah, I got this while uh, the FedEx guy came like at the beginning of my workout. But I just thought I should open it with you guys. Let's see, uh, oh, that's just the bottom. Uh, oh, wow, sweet smiles, I didn't, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, let's see, who is this from? Oh, it's from my dad and my stepmom. Yeah. Oh, thank you guys. They already sent me. Hey, how do you get it out? Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, listen, I'm clearly not reading. It says hold here, pull here. So let me try that real quick. I'm sorry, I dropped I dropped y'all. But here it has like flower food. Okay, so I have to put this in the vase. I have to put water, uh, cut it, and then put them in there. So okay, I'm about to go ahead and do that before I go uh, take a shower. I'm actually about to drink a smoothie too, real quick. Hold on. Oh God, that I mm -mm. that workout obviously killed my legs. But oh child, my child messed up this table. But whatever. Um, I got flowers from other people also. Well, this one is actually from my dad and my stepmom also, and then this one is from my mom's um plastic surgeon's office so yeah for anybody who may be curious i got <clears throat> frozen pineapples and frozen mixed berries i think it's raspberries strawberries blueberries and i think that's it with some protein powder and then oh, i'm about to put in my vanilla almond milk and then that's it now I'm put a lot of almond milk because like the past two days th that I've been using this, I that I've been drinking smoothies after my workouts, I freaking um I put like I thought I put enough almond milk, but then it wasn't, and then the smoothie was super thick, and I didn't feel like blending it again, so I was just drinking a super thick old smoothie. Don't want to do that again, so yeah, I put a little more milk this time. It's still kind of thick, not as thick as it was. The other two days but <clears throat> that's all right I'll, and it ain't even all the way blended i don't think this time i've been lazy today that's all right i need to hurry up and drink this so i can get in the shower and go jace jace hold on y'all jace I need you to calm down, please. Calm down for me, please, okay? Mama? I need you to calm down for me, please, okay? Okay. You all right? Yes. You sure? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. All right, so calm down for me, okay? Okay. All right, thank you. So as y'all can see, I did. I made it out the house on time. I left in a timely manner, kind of. I was a little rushy, rushy towards the end, but that's all right. I made it out the house on time. <coughs> uh, and y'all, listen, I could not find my car keys. I still don't know where my car keys are. However, I, I, I had to use a spare car key because, well, not however, but I had to use a spare car key because I literally, if I didn't find the car, if I kept, listen, bro, I'm sorry y'all. It is a it is there is a silver punch buggy, you know, the little Volkswagen uh car right here about to turn out. And if my sister is watching this, she know why I'm saying that because the whole time she was here, she kept punching me because of those little punch buggies and uh, I, before she came, I ain't see no punch buggies. Like, there was none to be found. Like, where did y'all... They had all disappeared. And then, out of nowhere, I keep getting punched in my arm because she keep finding punch buggies. 
And ever since she left, it's like I spot them everywhere I go. But while she was here, I only seen like one. It's like, well, I seen one. I mean, of course, there were more because she kept seeing them. But I was not, I wasn't catching them like that. You know? But anyways, as I was saying, I have my spare car key because I don't know where my other car key is. I know I've seen it in my room and I thought I put it back on the, the key hook, but I didn't. So there's that. And then, yeah, I wouldn't have made it out of the house on time because I was still looking for the key. But anyways, I'm a little nervous though because, oh, not because of my eyebrows, they look raggedy, but but I'm a little nervous though because um, because I'm going to go pick up my mom's ashes, right? <clears throat> and I don't know why that makes me nervous. Not nervous, but it, I don't know. I think it just feels weird. This feels weird to be saying I'm about to go pick up my mama, but I'm not going to pick up my mama to like have her sit here next to me in the physical flesh form and take her home now i am picking her up and she is gonna be with me and i am gonna take her home but i'm do y'all see what, what's happening do y'all see where i'm going with this it's just a little strange for me that's all that is all um i don't know y'all i don't know but okay so i don't know anyway but um i put up the flowers i i got the ew. Yo, got this back of moon right here. I was about to put some on because I'm kind of ashy. I didn't put no lotion on once I got out of the shower. But I did put the flowers up. And y'all, I'm going to try to keep these flowers, like all the flowers, alive as long as I can. Because if y'all know me, y'all know I don't I don't get flowers. Not because I don't, not because Jason just don't want to buy me flowers. But I, I'm not a flower person. But I really do appreciate the people who have sent me flowers and are sending me flowers i do i'm gonna try to keep them i'm gonna try to keep them um alive and happy as long as i can y'all i really am oh gosh that's just ashy thing right there but yeah y'all uh, anyways <clears throat> hopefully hopefully they stay alive longer than i expect Meanwhile, I got a whole garden outside, you know, but I, I feel like the garden is a little different. I don't know, because the, the, I kind of let nature take over the garden a little bit, um, but yeah, with the flowers inside the house, that's a little, that's a little different, but yeah, I will, um, I'm gonna go ahead and go real quick so I can get to my destination, because they stop, they stop for pickup at 4.30, it's 3.59 now. I, like I said, I left the house in a tiny manner. It's not that far from, you know, my house. But I just don't want to be late. And, um, like, I, I'm getting her today. I don't, wanna, I don't want her to sit there no longer. I, I don't. So I, I was, you know, determined, like, hey, once they call me, I'm out of here. So. What did you? Come on, sir. That was just unnecessary. Like, you knew you had to be over there. And then you gonna get back over. Ooh. Anyways, let me go so I can get to where I gotta go. So, I got her, guys. I got her. Um, I thought that I was about to cry for a second. I didn't. But I feel weird. I feel very strange having her in a box inside of a bag yeah I mean whew, I don't know I, I geez gosh like, goodness gracious I don't even know y'all in all honesty I just don't no I don't even know whew, it's a different type of experience I know that much and I I promise you, if you've never lost a parent, I don't care um, how bad y'all don't get along or whatever the case may be. I would encourage you all to cherish. 
cherish <clears throat> hell if you don't get along hell cherish every argument <laughs> you know because this feeling right here man this feeling right here is not it's just not okay i don't even know what it ain't what it isn't but it's not okay i'm not here for it at all it sucks it sucks so bad like this is oh, oh, i'm gonna stop like i can show y'all my mom is in this box this is my mother right come on mom you gotta sit Like, I keep looking at the date of death because I'm still in disbelief that my mom is really no longer present on this earth. I am in disbelief. Like, my sister called me and we, like, looking at, picture, looking at pictures and... Um, Trying to get stuff together writing stuff out for the obituary and it's like we are really doing this we are planning a celebration of life for my mother like she gone y'all so i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog right now i'm about to get the kids uh all set and ready for tomorrow because i told y'all they was gonna get covid testing so they ended up calling me back and scheduling their appointments for tomorrow at 8 30 in the morning so i need girl you i just changed your booty i did but yeah i'm about to get like all this stuff together because like I said they tested is at 8 30 in the morning and mine is between 9 and 12 so um and the, the reason I'm oh I got to pee that's why I'm shaking I'm sorry y'all and I know that sounds crazy between 9 and 12 but that's when they that's how they do the adults they do the adults differently than they do the kids so <clears throat> the kids actually have to go into the facility to you know get tested and all that while the parents or the people older than what 13 i believe do the like little drive through outside thingy majigger so yeah um yeah about to get them ready for that and i will talk to y'all we will talk to y'all tomorrow